Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to configure link aggregation between a Synology NAS and a Unify switch. So let's get right to it. So first we're going to log on to our Synology NAS. So we'll connect up to here and what we want to do is we want to go into control panel. Select network, network interface. We see right here, this particular model has two LAN interfaces. One set up with a static IP address already, the other DHCP. So we're going to create a bond first. So we're going to hit create, create bond. We're going to just initially start off with adaptive load balancing. It does not require any special network switch support. So if you do not have a switch that's capable of doing any of this link aggregation, this will get you something. So let's hit next. We're going to select LAN 1 and 2, hit next. We're going to use manual configuration. You can use DHCP if you wish, um, although I find it better to use a static IP. So I chose this IP address, gateway, subnet mask, DNS server, everything looks good. So we're going to hit done and say yes. So that is applying the network settings. So let's give that a minute. While that's working, we can move over and look at our network. So let's go into the Unify network. And we're going to go into Unify devices and pick the switch that the NAS is connected to, which happens to be Office Switch. We'll go into here and hit Ports and then Port Management. So we see right now it's not green because it's still working on the bond, I believe. Yes. Once that's configured, we can then switch these ports over to be aggregated. For aggregation to work, the ports need to be sequential. So for instance, with this NAS that I have, I've already set up port aggregation. So all four ports are connected to port three, four, five, and six and aggregated through three to six. You cannot go three, five, seven, and nine. All right, so we see that we have link up now. So that means it is done. So we go back in here, we see our bond. We're going to edit this and um, after we enable aggregation, we're going to come over here and switch it to the IEEE dynamic link aggregation, which is used for connecting to switches configured as dynamic link aggregation with IEEE 802.3 AD and LACP. So let's first pick the number one port. And as we see right here, it is set for operation for switching. We just want to switch this to aggregate. And you see right here, aggregate ports. Ports one through however many. So we're going to go one through two because those are the two ports that we're using. And we're going to hit apply. Change it successfully. Switch back over to here. Flip it over to the dynamic link aggregation and hit OK. We'll just wait for this to apply and the bond is up. So now let's switch over to our command line and we can just do a quick ping. And we have connectivity. So we are good. Switching back to the Unify switch, we see the aggregation icon. And if we hit refresh, you should see the other port go into grayed out mode because it is aggregated. And that is correct. So we are all set and we are now aggregated on ports one and two with two one gigabit connections. I hope you found this information helpful. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye.